Okay, so this is the story SSD upgrade that I'm about to do here. And you may hear in my voice that I'm actually pretty salty about this because this was a ridiculous beast of an enterprise. Um, it shouldn't have been this hard. Uh, I blame HP totally for this thing. But I got it working and then I'm going to show you how I did it. And I'm going to give you all the tips on how not to get screwed like I did. So I'm upgrading to a SanDisk Extreme 2. It's a 120 gigabyte SSD, SATA 6 gigabits per second. It's a really good SSD. A lot of people don't know about SanDisk yet, but SanDisk probably makes, you know, at least a third of the flash in the whole world. They manufacture their own stuff, so usually people who manufacture their own SSDs are going to be a little bit better. This is slightly cheaper than a Samsung 840 Pro, which is really my first choice, but since it was slightly cheaper and I've had good success with uh, SanDisk drives in the past, I decided to go ahead and go with the SanDisk. Um, so, my first warning, uh, this is kind of an unboxing too, there's really nothing to unbox in an SSD. It's the SSD, this thing comes with this little weird, you see how it's got this little indentation there, it's a bracket that actually makes it fit. This is a 7mm SSD. But my first tip um, for upgrading this NV15Z J000 and really any HP notebook these days is that Dude, your recovery media is crap, okay? All these disks, you know, it comes with this software that allows you to make these recovery disks, right? So, you know, you gotta make these six disks, and you see, I'm, I'm a pretty organized guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna make the disks wrong. I mean, I have them in covers, and I made labels, and then I even used a thermal printer, okay, to label the disks. So I'm a pretty extreme guy when it comes to organization, all right? So it comes with that software manager, the recovery software manager. You make your disk, it says the disks were made right. Okay, so here's the thing, here's the trick. If you are upgrading to anything that is smaller than the original drive that HP put in your machine, it will not work. And when I say will not work, it's not going to work. So most SSDs are going to be smaller than your normal hard drives, right? So anytime you try to reuse use HP recovery media to basically put any SSD in that's, that's smaller than the hard drive that it's shipped with, it will not work. It cannot work. And you'll get all the way to the end of the recovery process and you will get this message every single time that says recovery failed even though there's really nothing wrong with the hard drive but there's nothing wrong with the installation there's something built into this software that does not allow it to upgrade to anything smaller than what you originally had in it okay and you can go and google this it's on a thousand google sites people are really upset about it but it will not work so I went off and I actually got the recovery USB stick okay from HP and I said well maybe since this is the factory stick and it's not basing the recovery off of my original configuration maybe this will work it doesn't work so throw that away too alright so like I said I'm, I'm kinda salty about this it really took me a week to figure this out and fortunately I had an old computer that was running Windows 7 that I had Acronis on and eventually I just said, okay, I'm just going to try to clone this thing. You know, cloning's kind of hit and miss sometimes on Windows. So I cloned it in my other computer and boom, put it in. It worked. No problem. All right. So that's what you need. You have two options. Okay. Get Acronis for $20 from like Newegg or something like that. Uh, get the newer version. Don't get, you know, the older version. Um, clone your drive and it should work just fine. Or you can buy another copy of Windows 8 and I actually installed Windows 8.1 on this machine, the consumer preview, just to see if it was something with the drive or something else was going on and it, it installed just fine and it worked great. Okay, So those are your two options. Now the second option, buying another copy of Windows 8, was not an option for me because I've already bought Windows 8, Windows 8 came with this machine, I'm not paying for it twice. So that just wasn't an option. So I said, okay, I have to find some way to clone this drive 
and I got it cloned and it worked really well. Um, I've already done the installation, but I'm doing it over again for you guys. So that is kind of the end of my saltiness. Okay, so hopefully I can be a nice person the rest of this video. So the first thing you do, obviously, is you take out your battery. Um, there's a lot of other screws around. You don't need to take those out. That is completely unnecessary. There's one screw, one screw right here. Okay, that one little screw that you need to take out, which will get you to the user upgradable components. Okay, I say user upgradable because that means that you can upgrade these components in your laptop without voiding your manufacturer's warranty. So, you know, like I said, I am I'm still kind of salty about this whole thing. So these it's got these little snaps. You just take a flathead screwdriver and you pop them out. Okay, you just pop out these little snaps. Don't be a caveman, all right? Don't bash these snaps out because if you don't take them out properly, um, I mean, potentially you could ruin this little back panel and it won't ever fit back on correctly again. I've just noticed that every time I've taken it off, it's getting a little bit looser. So hopefully this is the last time I'll ever have to take this back panel off, even though I am going to do a RAM upgrade. So here's your RAM. Don't take these little black, black, black covers off because that is there to make your machine look nice. Um, if you HP use some kind of cheap RAM. It's SK Hynix, or I guess that's Korea, South Korean Hynix RAM. Uh, even on the modules, it doesn't say anything like Samsung. So this is just some kind of generic, cheap uh, DDR3 1600 RAM. Uh, eventually, I'm going to take it out, but all you have to do to upgrade your RAM, and this is basically the end of the RAM tutorial, is to lift these two little levers. Okay. Here's your hard drive. Here's your Wi-Fi card, your CMOS battery. CMOS battery. And there's your RAM. Here's your two levers. See those levers on the side? Lift them up. Take your RAM out. And if you got your other RAM, I don't have my other RAM today. But fortunately... I got paid today, so I may go out and buy that other RAM and uh, go ahead and put it in and go, go get you know, it'll put me up to 16 gigabytes running at 1866, which should make this machine really, really run smoothly. Um, not that it doesn't already, but uh, I, I'm a uh, extreme kind of guy, so I like my machines running as good as possible. So here's your OEM hard drive. It's a Samsung drive. Uh, it's a momentous 5400 RPM drive. So I've already put the SSD in and compare it to this thing compared to the SSD is just stupid slow. I mean, it's just retarded slow. I mean, I just can't believe that people are still putting 5400 RPM hard drives in computers. Um, it's kind of disgraceful, honestly. So you can still tell that I'm salty at HP right now. Because actually with this computer, they don't even offer an, an upgrade. They don't even offer an SSD upgrade. They have hybrid drives, but no SSD upgrade. So it has this little rubber thing. Take the rubber thing off of your OEM hard drive, and you put it on your SSD. Okay. So and there is, you put the SSD in face down, so there is a specific way to do this. There's no screws, there's just little snaps that you snap in to the screw holes on your SSD, okay? But this is my, I'm going to say it again, your recovery media, whether you got the USB stick, whether you got the, the DVDs that you made from your recovery manager, will not work if you're trying to upgrade to an SSD. It's just not going to work, okay? So don't say I didn't tell you. I told you, I told you, I told you. It will not work. Please listen to me, people. It's not going to work. Um, you need some cloning software. Or you need another copy of Windows, uh, Windows 8. And another side note, another little tip that I can give you, is that this computer does not have uh, your product key on it. Like every computer from the beginning of time has always had the product key on the computer. This computer does not have the product key on it. What HP and what Windows 8 has done, it has embedded your product key into the BIOS of the computer. So if you wanted to downgrade to like Windows 7, you're going to have a hard time. Now, a lot of people are kind of freaking out about this online because it's like, so what if Windows 9 comes out, right? 
what if you want to upgrade to Windows 9? I mean, what's going to happen? Is it going to freak the computer out? I mean, what's up? Well, nobody knows. I don't know because I don't have Windows 9 or whatever they're going to call it. So this is kind of an enigma. This is kind of uncharted territory. Nobody knows what's going to happen. So my SSD is in. It's in snugly. No problem. I'm going to pop this back plate back on and uh, boot her up. And like I said, I've already gone through it, so there's no there's no mystery for me here now. I, I know this works. I know there's no problem. But this thing was a monster. I mean, it was a complete monster. I can't believe I've never had a hard time upgrading a simple hard drive. Maybe I should have just cloned it at the beginning, but you know, you just figure that, hey, I've got this recovery media. I haven't really put anything on this computer yet. I just got it. I should be able to just to put the recovery media in and recover to it, right? Just like I have on millions, all the other computers that I've, I've ever had. I've been able to do that. But this computer, they're changing the game. So you can't do that anymore. All right. So I put the snaps back in. You see they went in pretty easily. Uh, put the screw back in. Put the battery back in. Put my even put my little sticker on there. I'm so proud of it that I had to earn this right to have an SSD in my brand new computer here that I paid for. And, you know, going back to the whole recovery media not working thing, you know, all the time that I spent talking to HP about this, you know, nobody was really concerned about it. But the fact is, is that if you have a mechanical hard drive in your computer, it's going to go bad. It's just a matter of time, especially in notebooks because you move them around so much. And hard drives just generally have a harder time. They run hotter in notebooks. I mean, they're going to die. So if you don't have recovery media, and you're not, you know, kind of a techie like me, and you don't know how to clone hard drives, you're not just going to be able to go to the to the store, buy another hard drive, slap it in, and let that be it. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have to basically buy another hard drive and whatever new operating system is out at that current time. So this, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm really disappointed in HP for doing that. Amazing nonsense here. <coughs> that, you know, the, the OEM copy that I paid for with this computer will not work if I decide to upgrade to an SSD. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So we're booting. Just notice the boot time here. So that was pretty fast. So haven't done my password manager thing yet because I've had to reinstall this thing so many times. So gotta cover up the screen a little bit. Alright. So I'm in. Let's go to the desktop. Um and <clears throat> get you a good angle. So let's go ahead and run. Windows Experience Index again. I mean, I've run it already, but uh, so let's refresh it again. So here we go. You got an 8.0, if you can see that. For uh, so that's my new score, and uh, I guess I can do some demonstrations, just some SSD demonstrations, just to show you how much faster things are running. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, let's see how fast this boots up. Like I said, I really don't. Let me just see how quickly that opens. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I mean, things are just, just much snappier. Um, so, was it worth the big headache? Absolutely, it was worth the headache. Um, let's shut it down. Let's go make it go to sleep. So, it's asleep now. Let's see. Lid shut. And let's see how fast it comes back up. Boom. Back. So, just a few little tests. I mean, I wish I had some more. Uh, this is an SSD review. This is, like I said how to install an SSD in this computer. So, mission accomplished. Like I said, my two big tips are you don't have to do anything in the BIOS, but you're gonna have to clone that original drive. 
some way, somehow, you're going to have to get some cloning software. I recommend Acronis, or you're going to have to buy Windows again, which I don't recommend. So that's the end of the video. That is my triumph for the week. Peace out.